everyone this is sister moon here and i'm going to go over some basic yoga moves some basic yoga techniques that um uh, many people it would be nice if many people would know when they're taking their first yoga class so and these are just simple poses that um, most people will know when they're taking their first yoga class or if you do not know um this video is generated so that you may know that way when you take your first um, yoga class beginner yoga class you'll know what some of the basic poses are okay so let's get started and we'll start by letting you know that this is a yoga block right here a lot of people when they start yoga they use these yoga blocks right here okay so this is a yoga block we're going to start out here today in Tadasana so we're going to start in Tadasana this is Tadasana Tadasana pose standing with your hands in front of you side by side hands on each side Tadasana then you can go up to upward salute which is hands in front of you above your head like this this is upward salute or they may say hands above your head this is what they mean they may say standing crescent moon this this is standing crescent moon body's bent to the side and your arms are off to the side standing crescent moon back to arms in the air pose or if you put your palms together standing salute arms in the air Crescent moon on the opposite side. This pose is crescent moon on the opposite side. Coming back to hands in the air or standing salute. Bring your palms down at heart center, meaning your hands will stop at your sternum, right in front of your chest, center of your chest. This is standing prayer because you're standing and you're praying. We're gonna bend over and lean this is half forward fold. I'm going to turn to the side. See this here? Half forward fold. Your back is straight, parallel to the floor. This is half forward fold. This is a lengthening technique, keeping your back straight. Half forward fold. This is a complete forward fold. So this is a complete forward fold. See that there? Turn to the side. This is a complete forward fold. Your body's all the way over. If they say, will you do this when you're grabbing your arms from side to side when you're down there? Now you're in rag down. Can you see that? Arms. This here is rag down pose. Now you are in rag down pose. You're just leaning over, bending over like a rag down. Complete forward fold, half forward fold. Tadasana palms together, standing salute, palms apart, arms in the air, crescent moon, crescent moon, tree pose is when you're taking your feet and you're putting it on the floor, you're, you can bring it above your leg just like this, right beneath your knee, underneath your knee, making sure you're not touching your knee, or you can bring it above your knee and stand with your hands to the side. You can stand with your palms together in front of you, or you can put your hands up in the air. This is tree pose. This is what they mean by tree pose. You can keep your hands still. You can keep your hands here. You can keep your hands here if you want. Most people keep their hands here though. This is tree pose. And then they may say do tree pose on the opposite leg, which is all you're doing is basically putting your feet here. We call this kickstand pose because your feet is just slightly on the floor. Or you can bring your feet slightly up. Or you can bring it all the way up. So this is tree pose on the opposite side, right here. So when they say tree pose, this is what they mean. Standing tall like a tree, tree pose. Okay, so this is tree pose right here. They may say dancer pose. This is a dancer pose. This is a dancer pose. This is more of an advanced pose. This is more of a balancing act. So that's dance pose. And you'll be able to do dance pose on both sides. Okay. So, um, or they may say um, a little slight back bend. Basically, you want to put your hands at the base of your back. 
and slightly just bend your back. You can keep your feet together or spread your feet apart for more balance. And just lean over. And the more you do that pose, the better it gets. The more you do that pose, the deeper you can bend backwards. Oh, that feels great on the back. That is a back bend. And I'm going to a back to a half forward fold. All the way down to a complete forward fold. You're gonna take the top of your feet and slightly bend it. And that way your feet is like here. And eventually, your feet will be all the way over like that. I'm not there yet either. Everything takes time. I enjoy the process. So simply enjoy the process. Everything takes time. So here we have it. This is lotus seat. And in lotus seat, they might say do a seated prayer in lotus seat. Or they might say do a seated salute when your arms is up in the air above your head, palms together, and then bring them down here to seated prayer. They may say do a seated twist which is basically taking your hand and twisting it behind your back near your buttocks. Fingers are pointed away from you. Taking your opposite hand, putting it on your leg that you're twisting over and slightly looking over that right shoulder. So again, I'll take my right hand, put my right hand behind me. I'll take my left hand, put my left hand on my right knee and I'll slowly turn my head towards my right shoulder. That is a seated spinal twist and I'll do it to the other side back to center. I'll take my right hand, put it on my left knee, take my left hand, put it behind my back, fingers pointing away from me, making sure I keep my back straight. See that there? No slouching. Keeping your back straight, keep your spinal cord straight, protecting your spinal cord, and then slowly looking over your left shoulder. Fill in a twist. You may even feel your back crack. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, um, you may have a yoga instructor who may say, um, okay, this is a simple plank. So we're, we're here in plank, or they may have you up in the air like this. Or they may, this is, this is a plank here, it's actually more intense. If you're new, you may wanna do something like this. Or even if you're new, but you went to the gym, you probably can do a high plank, see that there? Or if not, if you're tired or you did a couple poses, you can do a low plank. See that there? So they may say plank, this is plank pose. They may say do a side plank. You can slightly go to the side, warm up in the air, do a side plank. Or if you want, if you're already in the air and they say do a side plank, you can do a side plank like this. This here is an elevated side plank. Whew. They may say go into child's pose. This is child's pose. Slightly bring your knees apart. Slightly bring your buttocks to the heels of your feet. So going back, feeling relaxed when you're back there. Putting your hands in front of you and lowering your forehead to the yoga mat. <sighs> just feeling your shoulders relax into the shoulder mat. Just feeling your shoulders go downward as you go downward and maybe walking your fingers forward as you keep your hips backwards. And you'll feel your spine start to lengthen and you'll feel your back start to feel nice and good. It's a conditioning move. It's also a resting move. But it conditions your back and it conditions the spinal, especially if you walk your hands forward and move to move your back the opposite way. It's kind of like you're pulling your body. It's kind of like you're pulling your body this way. So hands is going this way, body's going that way. Hands is going forward, body's going that way. Head is down. <sighs> Feel the stretch. Child's pose, okay? Puppy pose is when your feet is together and your tummy is kind of more on your thigh and you're kind of just going in where your lower tummy is touching your thigh and then you just go slightly down. Maybe be slightly up, let's go to the side. So this is puppy pose. So your thighs are together, knees together. This part of your tummy is touching your thighs and you just simply go back like this and head to the floor. And this is puppy pose. Some people like to look up in, in puppy pose. Stretching your body while you're in puppy pose. And again, child's pose is more 
like this. See that there? This is more of a child's pose. So you're a little bit more down. This is child's pose. This is puppy pose. See that there? So some people like puppy pose because it's, it's easier on their knees. So whatever works for you. So that's child's pose, puppy pose. Um, you may see an instructor and they may say go to Cobra. Cobra is, we call this, this is here. This is a chaturanga right here coming down. Then you might be like flat on your tummy. And let's just go to Spanx real quick. So this is Spanx. It's also a resting pose, but it's also a slight back bend. Oh, I can feel it on my back. Okay, so in Spanx pose, we have our forearms slightly easy on the floor. And our back is up and our back is bent. Let me turn to the side so you can see. So Spanx pose, we're flat on the floor. Oh, kitty cat, get out the way. Okay. And as you can see, shoulders up. Forearms on the floor. Back is bent. See that there? Looking upwards. This is Spanx pose. And then you might want to go to sail pose. What sail pose is simply an addition from Spanx pose. And you just, see that? Push yourself up. Just like a sail. So you go from Spanx to sail. See that there? Okay. So those are some downward poses. Slight back bend. And another one, um, of course, is um, coming up here to Cobra. So when you're coming up to Cobra, you can go from Spanx to Seal to Cobra. Keeping your arms touching and hugging the sides of your body. Hands flat on the floor and pushing yourself up just like a Cobra. This is also a back bend, a little bit more deeper back bend. This is a Cobra. Back is slightly bent. See that? Cobra. Pushing yourself up, see that there? So seal is this. Cobra is this. See that there, you're up higher, see that? You're up like a cobra. So cobra and seal are very similar. This is cobra, you're all the way up in the air. This is seal. See that? It's slightly up. Keeping your shoulders straight, your arms straight, up like a seal. And these poses kind of blend in because what comes after Paul Cobra is upward facing dog. See that there? So you go from Cobra to upward facing dog. So you're up, see that? Your body's not on the ground, upward facing dog. Where so this is downward facing dog. Let's do it from another angle. Okay, so we'll go from Spanx. This is Spanx. This is seal. This is cobra. This is upward facing dog. And this is downward facing dog. See that there? So we got upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Upward facing downward facing dog. This is table cow. Then they may say, let's go to cat cow. This is cow. Keeping your tummy tight. Keeping your tummy tight and your buttocks nice and loose. Relaxing your body. This is cow. See that there? Sinking down into the floor, buttocks goes up in the air and your head goes up slightly and so does your chin. This is cow. This is cat. See that there? Coming up. Tummy nice and tight. This is cat pose. <laughs> Meow. Tabletop. Okay. And let's do one more. Now, let's say they say let's go to a bird pose. This is a little nice little balancing thing. So, a bird pose is when it's like you're starting out in tabletop. It's, we got cow, cat, tabletop. And then we got bird pose, which is simply being in a tabletop position, taking your, let's start with our right leg. <clears throat> putting our right leg straight up in the back of the air. And we'll go with the opposite arm. Put the opposite arm right there in front of you. See that there? That's bird pose. Beautiful. And if you wanna get fancy when you're coming down, you can take your elbow and touch your knee. Bam. Then bring it back. Then come on down. Opposite side. 
left leg up in the air, taking your right arm now, right arm in front of you. Or you can put your right arm to the side, in front of you, to the side, or you can just keep it flat down on the floor and just have your leg up. See that there? Flat on the floor, have your leg up. Let's just say your leg, your arms in front of you. This is bird pose. Holding in position, keeping your tummy tight. This is a balancing act, but it's also a strengthening act. And if you wanted to, you could bring your elbow to your knee. Bam. Hold it if you want. Let it go. Bird pose. Back down to tabletop. And now, um, cow face pose. And basically that is taking your feet, bringing one in, bringing the opposite over the other one, keeping your back, see that? Bring your back up, nice and straight, shoulders back, lower part of your back bent in. Okay, it's a beautiful seating position. And you take your hands and you bring them behind you. And this pose here is called cow pose, cow face, shall I say. So this is cow face. You're probably like, how was her hands? So let me turn around so you can see how my hands look behind my back. Okay, so legs are still crossed because cow face has the crossed legs like this. And you simply just take your hand, bring it over, Take the opposite hand, let them touch, let them grip, let them grip each other. That's cow's pose, keeping your back, not slanted, that's, that's wrong. Back straight, shoulders up, always shoulders up. Chin slightly up if you're able, looking slightly in the air if you're able. But we definitely do not want to bend our back, that's a no-no. Always keeping our back straight. This is cow face. The only time we want to bend our back is if we're doing seated cat cow. See this is? Cat, cow. See that? Steer cat on Halloween. Back goes up. Cow. That's the only time we want to bend our back. One of the few. There's maybe a couple other times when we want to bend our back, but that's the seated cat cow. So you may have an instructor say, okay, we're going to do some seated cat cows real quick. Basically, it's just like, see that there? Going inward. Tummy going inward. That's cat. Upwards. Sunken back. That's cow. So cat, back in the air like a scared cat on Halloween. Cat pose in the seated position. Cow pose. Back goes in, arches in, chest goes up in the air. Cow pose. And then they may say, okay, come back to center. And they may say, sit in your yogi squat. This is a yogi squat. That's a yogi squat. Hands like this, hands like that. Yogi squat. A lot of people can, you know, bring their legs further apart. For me, I gotta spread my legs further apart. And see that? Then I got my yogi squat. This is, you can feel it more on your hips and your thighs. So you're gonna get more of a workout like this. So this is a yogi squat as well. Or you can always take a block, sit on it, put it up, put it down. Feet on the floor. Yogi squat, cause you're still squatting. See that there? So you can do that too, yogi squat, you're still squatting. So these are just a couple. This is just like a um, first time yoga class prep or a refresher if it has been a while since you've done yoga. So I hope you enjoyed this yoga prep. This is Sister Moon and I will see you soon. I will meet you on the mat. Peace and blessings be to you. The light in me sees the light in you. Amen. Namaste.